Hi everybody, Cheryl Knowlton coming at you with a thought for the day on how to create stronger offers without violating federal fair housing law. I get a lot of questions about, well, I'm the buyer's agent and I really want to strengthen my buyer's offer. Should I include a letter to the seller about my buyer? Here's the problem with doing that. Too often we wind up, either if we draft the letter or if we have the buyer draft the letter, we wind up creating a, an issue with the language and violating federal fair housing law by including one or more of the federally protected classes. Asking the seller then to make a fair housing decision in choosing a buyer if we're in a multiple offer situation. That, my friends, is problematic and we definitely don't want that. So, if you are the buyer's agent and your buyer wants to write a letter or you're trying to increase the buyer's likelihood of getting their offer accepted because you wanna create an emotional connection with the seller, here are a couple of things to remember. Yes, you can do it, it is not against the law. Number two, absolutely make certain that you do not include any federally protected classes, including our first one, when we're talking about fresh corn, which is familial status, do not include any information about any children that they have under the age of 18. That would be one of the federally protected classes and we can't do that. Absolutely do not ever include a photo of the family. That is super, super problematic. So a lot of times buyer's agents will ask me, well, what if my buyer gives me a picture? You lovingly say, you hired me to champion you and I cannot send this picture and you lovingly tell them how cute they are and you give the picture back to them and let them know that you do not want to include that with the offer and explain why. What if you're the listing agent and you get a picture? Do you have an obligation to give the letter to the seller? Do you have the obligation to give the picture to the seller? This is an exciting and changing landscape in real estate because we don't necessarily have specific case law related to this, but under our fiduciary duty of disclosure, anything and everything that we know we are required by law and the code of ethics to give to the seller, which does include the letter, according to most of my attorney friends who are infinitely smarter than I am when it comes to all things related to federal fair housing law. If you get a photo, you do not wanna put your seller in a position where you're asking them to violate the law. So I would call the broker and or the agent of, uh, that submitted that picture and lovingly explain how cute the buyers are, but you need to return the picture and explain why. I'd love your ideas, thoughts, and feedback on this message. So please like, comment, and share your thoughts and feelings below. Any additional news and information I get from my brilliant attorney friends as it relates to federal fair housing law and this interesting topic of letters, I will make sure and include links in, that, in the comments below this as we go. But until then, that is your dynamite thought for the day.